May the peace of the Lord Jesus Christ be with us all in these final seconds. God bless you, beloved brothers and sisters. God bless your families. God bless my family. God bless my neighbors that's starting to watch. God bless all y'all in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ's name. Hallelujah. It's already glory here in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. God bless all y'all, beloved. I hope you all y'all doing well. You see what time it is. You see the earth is under straight judgment right now. And people can't peep what's going on with what God is doing, beloved. You know, you know the season. You hear what I said? In the name of Jesus Christ, hallelujah. God presence already here in the name of Jesus. You know it's the season, beloved. Hallelujah. You be, hallelujah. What did it say? Hallelujah. Let me turn here real quick. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Break the chains in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. What does it say? In 1 Thessalonians 5, the day of the Lord, but concerning the times and the seasons, brethren, you have no need that I should write to you, for you yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord comes as a thief in the night. All these people use the divination to hallelujah. Ain't nothing but glory in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, we invite God presence in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I pray for all y'all in the name of Jesus. Ain't nothing but glory in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Break the chains, Lord. I'll fight your blessings at all times. So I pray for the whole church of God. I pray for my girls. I pray for my beloved. I pray for the whole church of God. I pray for the broken heart. I pray for those that's feeling lonely, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hold our hands through these trials, Lord, in the name of Jesus. I pray you bless people finances in the name of Jesus. We blind to break all witchcraft and sorcery in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We invite your blessings at all times in the name of Jesus. Praise God. God. Yes, yeah, so we pray for the poor of the land. We pray for the elderly. Hallelujah. Lord, destroy the devil's plan. Let whoever need to hear this message hear it, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Praise God. 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 Watch the same by Jesus. Hallelujah. Ain't nothing but glory. I rebuke Satan in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise God. 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 Yes, Lord, please keep us. Watch us in the blood of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Please keep us. Please cover us. Please shield us, Lord. I pray for my family, Lord. I pray for lost family members and friends. We pray for those on drugs. Our help is from above, Lord. Break the chains in the name in the name of Jesus. Praise God, according to God. Watch the same Jesus Christ. Please give us strength, Lord. Hallelujah. Lord, keep my heart in the right place. Keep my soul in the right place. Keep my mind in the right place in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise God. Break the chains in the name of Jesus. I command every storm to surround all heaven in the name of Jesus. Praise God, according to God. Watch the same Jesus Christ. Hallelujah, Lord. We pray for us. We say all the things of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. We just say, Lord, pray in the name of glory here anyway right now. All time. Hallelujah. Ain't nothing but glory here right now anyway. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, we will fight God's presence. Hallelujah. Concerning times and seasons and days and all that stuff, man, that stuff turning into divination. God told me to rebuke it. It's turning into divination. People putting out all these different dates and all this stuff. That is monthly prognosticating. Putting out dates. We got to be careful on this stuff. That's why I ain't saying that to, to afterwards, but God was like, I'm finna strike the earth anyway. You hear what I said? The day of the Lord come as a thief. These judgments come, hallelujah, hallelujah. These judgments, you get warning before the judgment hit. You hear what I said? God been speaking about New York. He been saying he gonna judge New York. New York is under judgment. This ain't hawk. This ain't none of that. What did it say? Hallelujah. I feel the spirit of the Lord in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. This Bible follow all the way apart. Everywhere I go, I'm leaving a piece of it somewhere. Anywhere I go, in the name of Jesus, I'm praying for you in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We break and destroy all witchcraft and sorcery and divination in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Break the chains, Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Go out to the streets and preach in the highways, in the byways, and wherever you can. Hallelujah. Oh, I feel the spirit of the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord with me. In the name of Jesus. No megaphone needed. No megaphone. Hallelujah. I feel the spirit of the Lord in the name of Jesus. 
They say geoengineering, hallelujah, New York City ain't been getting, New York City ain't, ain't been the summer without a summer. Hey, it ain't been raining for the last 17 weeks, they say. It been raining in New York, they ain't even having summer. That's why the earth is so saturated. And when God came with the flood, I told you about New York City, beloved. It's the epicenter of doom in every movie. It's always the epicenter of New York City. It's always the epicenter of the plague. I, I am legend. Hallelujah, we pray believe the Messiah coming. Jesus is coming. Do you feel the spirit of the Lord? Hallelujah. We call a pot for the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, don't mind the sweat. You dig what I'm saying? Saturate the earth. Hallelujah, saturate the earth. Hallelujah, with the sweat of the servant of the Lord. It's nothing but glory here on the Bible. On the old tattered Bible. On the pop your collar Bible. Oh, 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 oh. Make you want to. Make you want to dance to the law. And speaking about dancing to the law. Hallelujah. I know it's like we all over the place. But we finna go someplace. Before I go there. New York City is always the epicenter. And God not done with this world. You dig what I'm saying? Hallelujah. I love the Lord. Do you love the Lord? I love the Lord. Hallelujah. All oh, the angels say they be like Jesus. Hallelujah. Take him to church. In the name of Jesus. We surrounded by angels in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I pray for everybody out there, Pop. We cover them in the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. We different. It's okay to be different. You understand, beloved? It's okay to be like God created you to be. Different. Different things. It's okay, beloved. But you're here for a purpose, though. To pop your collar on the hater. No matter if no family didn't believe him, neither. A lot of family laughed. His stepsons, they laughed. He like, y'all better come on. Y'all better, y'all better get up out of here. They sat there and laughed. Make him want to dance to the law. Speaking about dancing to the law. I shared, I shared a vision on, on the funny book page first, and then I shared it on the community page. Do you feel the spirit? Of, do you feel the spirit of the Lord? You feel the spirit of the Lord? Hallelujah! What did it say? September 26, 2023. I shared a vision in a dream, and something that was happening in the physical. It's nothing but glory, glory, Esau. Submit the illuminado. Gloriously illuminate us a blood limitado. Oh, supercharged. Hallelujah. I feel the spirit of the Lord. We destroyed witchcraft and sorcery in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We overcame. Hallelujah. With the blood of the lamb. Destroyed the devil's plan. Prophet of the Lord with a sweet tooth. Feast of the lamb. We go eat. It's nothing but glory here. I ain't going to say it all. You hear what I said? Prophet of the Lord with a sweet tooth. Feast of the Lamb, we go eat too. Brandish in my soul like me too. Broom of the stretch, watch the sweep through. <laughs> I ain't gonna give it to y'all. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Babylon is falling, I ain't gonna give it to y'all. Hallelujah, make him wanna dance to the Lord. It's nothing but glory here. Oh, it's nothing but glory here in the name of Jesus. It's nothing but glory here. Hallelujah. What did it say? Visit the dreams from God the Father. In between 1 a.m. to 4 a.m. this morning. This was on the 26th. On the morning of the 26th of 2023. In between 1 a.m. to 4 a.m. this morning, I was playing on the key on my keyboard, worshiping the Lord God Almighty. This started in the physical. I was worshiping the Lord, playing on the keyboard. You hear what I said? Dipping and dabbing. You hear what I said? Hallelujah. Not shaking and jiving, but dipping and dabbing. <laughs> you hear what I said? I was dipping and dabbing. Hallelujah. I was dipping and dabbing with the Lord. You hear what I said? Dipping and dabbing. Deep diving with the Lord. It's nothing but glory here. Up top and down low. <laughs> Hallelujah. Uh, worshiping the Lord God Almighty. Psalm 138 verse 11. 
I will praise you with my whole heart before the gods I will see praises to you. Verse 2, I will worship towards your holy temple and praise your name and worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Psalm 147 verse 1, praise the Lord for it is good to see praises to our God for it is pleasant and praise is beautiful. Now, while I was doing that in the physical this morning, very supernatural things begin to happen. I felt the Holy Spirit fall on me very, very strong. And I felt two angels standing on each side of me with their heads on each shoulder. Hallelujah. Like when the angel, what it say before I go there? You know, we, you know we be all over the place, but we're going to make it do what it do. Hallelujah. Let me sat that down real quick. Let me grab this real quick. You dig what I'm saying? Let me grab this real quick. Turn it. Hallelujah. They get I know you be missing me when I'm gone, but I'll be waiting till these divination dates. Really, I'll be waiting for these dates. And plus, I'll be with the Lord. Sometimes I got to fast. I, I don't just do these videos. I got to fast every, every video, every time, before I do it. Every time, any time, any time. Look, what it say? I turn right to it. In Acts, Acts 12, verse 7. Now behold, an angel of the Lord stood by him, and a light shone in the prison. And he struck Peter on the side, and raised him up, saying, Arise quickly. The two angels standing on each side of me. Let me grab the other laptop real quick. What did it say? While I was doing that in the physical this morning, very supernatural things began to happen. I felt the Holy Spirit follow me very, very strong. And I felt two angels standing on the side of me with their hands on each shoulder. That is how I felt. When you worship the Lord without time restraints, this is a spiritual weapon I'm giving you. Sing it to the Lord. This whole thing is a spiritual weapon. Sing and praise, praise in the law. The enemy will try to hinder you in anything, but it's a spiritual weapon. Hallelujah. It make the demons run. Ah, they, they, ah, it don't matter if you sing beautifully or not. However you sing, God don't think it's beautiful. It said praise from the outright is beautiful. No matter if you're hitting a note, off key or whatever, however you sing, it's beautiful. God, long as it's to the Lord. You hear what I said? Long as it's to the Lord. It's nothing but glory here in the name of Jesus. It's nothing but glory here. You hear what I said? Hallelujah. It's nothing but glory here. Hallelujah. You like, man, you got the glasses on that, that look like the mustache and the, the mustache with the glasses connected. <laughs> and the nose connected. What in the world? Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. You know how I go. My voice kind of gone, but it's all good. Hallelujah. The glasses, the glass, the glass, the, the emoji with the glasses on. <laughs> Hallelujah. The emoji with the glasses. You the conflict by fire. The emoji, the emoji with the glass. <laughs> Hallelujah. Let me get back to the message. You dig what I'm saying? Whoever go watch these videos, they go watch them. Whoever go watch them, go watch them. I don't be worried about no views and none of this stuff. That's why I be trying to tell people, hey, it ain't about that with me. I serve the Lord either way it go. Alone or whatever. Share what the Lord want me to share. That's it. I don't go outside of my jurisdiction with the Lord at all. I do the will of God. However that is. Let me get back over here. I felt the Holy Spirit follow me very, very strong. And I felt two angels standing on the side of me with their hands on each shoulder. That is how it felt. When you worship the Lord without time restraints or restrictions to the boundaries of singing to the Lord without being afraid how, of how it sounds, the gates of hell is destroyed. Heaven's doors open up over you and the blessing of the Lord is limitless. Hallelujah. Pour, hallelujah. Try me this day. What did the Lord say in Malachi 2? Try me this day and see if I won't pour out such a blessing that you won't be able to receive it in your room. Hallelujah. The midst of doom. You hear what I said? An inheritance gained at the beginning won't be blessed at the end. Hallelujah. But if you get the blessed inheritance at the end, it'll last forever. You hear what I said? Don't let it go over your head. You dig what I'm saying? Hallelujah. Heaven's doors open over you and the blessing of the Lord is limitless. Then when I went to sleep at 4 a.m. this morning, 
I immediately was thrust into two different mega earthquakes. The mega one in China and a sudden never before seen mega earthquake in Brazil. And when I did the, the video of Brazil, if you go back and search the earthquakes after I put out that video, a four point something actually had hit Brazil after that message went up as a warning. Hit Brazil. You know, Brazil is super big. It's kind of big. It go all the way to the other side near Chile. That's why the judgment going to be so fierce there because they know the law. They know the law from plantain. They know the law from the nectarines and the fruit and the lusciousness. Uh, 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 how Brazil is. That whole area. They know the law. That's why God's so fierce when they mock Jesus. When they play that. That's not the real Jesus, but God took it as that. That, that, that wasn't the real Jesus. That ain't how Jesus looked. But God took it as disrespect. Do not be, do not be deceived, beloved. God is not mocked. They know the Lord. That's why they did that. That's why the devil, that's why that evil demon I seen, that black leopard, that was oh, their principality over Brazil. They, they call it the city of God, but it's filled with demons. And in 2016, almost seven years to the date. Almost seven years to the day, beloved. It's almost seven years since I gave the prophecy. It's almost been seven years, beloved. It's been, it's almost been seven years. 2016, October 30th and the 31st of 2016, it's on the internet. Elvis about it and Eric L. I was on there. I ain't had no mustache there. <laughs> you hear what I said? You can hear it too. You hear what I said? You hear what I said? I said like a little kid. <laughs> Hallelujah. I talked about the Brazil, Rio de Janeiro, and San Paulo. They going to get broke apart. Oh, let me get back to over here, though. Let me get back to the message so we, so we can, hallelujah, glorify the Lord together. In Jesus' name, we glory. It's nothing but glory here right now. That's glory. That's glory up there. It's nothing but glory here. In the name of Jesus, that's all that matter. It's nothing but glory here. In the name of Jesus. Let me get back to the message. So I, so I can share everything that the Lord want me to share. You hear what I said? What it say? The, make, the mega one in China and the sudden never before seen earthquake in Brazil. Those quakes change everything. They will both be on TV and will be historic. They will both be on TV and they will both be historic, beloved. What it say? Then God commanded the mighty dreadful prophet of the earth and myself. Strike the earth with everything and tear it destroyed. This is what God commanded us. God commands all men everywhere to repent. Like it says in Acts 17 verse 30. It's a commandment that people repent. That's commanded by God. It's commanded. Are you going to listen? I'm going to listen. I, I'm listening. I fear God. I got a healthy fear of God. I fear the Lord. I see what God doing. Seek New York. New York ain't there. You know the pestilence of rats is coming. You know that's coming. They, they got brass the size of raccoons out there. I'm not messing with that. You hear what I said? I'm not messing with that. They rats is the size of raccoons in the middle of doom. You don't want type it's a type or whatever. You hear what I said? A rats is the size of raccoons. You hear what I said? I'm not messing with that. You hear what I said? Let me get back to the message. Those quakes change everything. Those quakes that I'm talking about, they change everything. They, they will both be on TV and will be historic. That God commanded the mighty dreadful prophet and myself Strike the earth with everything until it is destroyed. Then I see myself playing music for the law. And more angels, and more angels attended this powerful end time worship session. That began in the physical but manifested in the spirit in Jesus name. All the angels say Jesus. Hallelujah. 2 Chronicles 5 verse 13. Indeed it came to pass when the trumpeteers 
and singers were as one to make one sound to be heard and praising and thanking the Lord. And when they lifted up their voice with the trumpets and cymbals and instruments of music, hallelujah, and praise the Lord, say, for he is good, for his mercy endures forever. Hallelujah. It got brighter and brighter in the name of Jesus. All glory to God. Let me finish. Let me finish. I said it two times. I will end with this. It was very similar in some respects to this scripture right here. 1 Samuel 16 verse 14. But the spirit of the Lord departed from Saul and the distressing spirit from the Lord troubled him. Verse 15. And Saul's servants said to him, Surely a distressing spirit from God is troubling you. Verse 16, let our master now command our servants who are before you to seek out a man who is a skillful player on the harp and it shall be that he will play with his hand when the distress of spirit from God is upon you and you shall be well. Verse 18, then one of the servants answered and said, look, I have seen the son of Jesse, the Beth Bethlehemite, who was, a skill, who was skillful in playing a mighty man of valor, a, a man of war, prudent in speech, a handsome person, added in there, a collar popper. You dig what I'm saying? <laughs> Hallelujah. And the, Lord, and the Lord is with him. While I was worshiping the Lord in the physical, uh, did it continue all night in my dream? I seen supernatural things were very powerful and astonishing. Two angels were standing beside me. Multiple angels were bobbing their heads. They were throwing up their hands and bobbing their head and dancing. Angels in my dream. They was bobbing their head and dancing and everything in my dream. In the name of Jesus Christ. What did it say? Hallelujah. One of the angels stepped out in front of the other angels in slow motion. And he started twirling. But it was glory. The way he was twirling, it was glory. Golden glory radiating off him. In all directions, beloved. In all directions. While he was twirling, listening to the music, praising, praising the Lord with me. While I'm playing in the dream, playing. It started in the physical though. But I was actually what we was doing it in the dream too. Whether out the body or in the body, I do not know. I just sharing what, what took place. One of the angels stepped out in front of front of all the other angels in slow motion and started twirling and swirling, smiling and awesome, radiant golden glory. I saw the more I played and worshiped the Lord on my keyboard, this huge glory bubble covered my house and got brighter and brighter. I became hotter and hotter until this white pillar of light burst out of me towards heaven. I don't know if you can see it, but y'all seen the gift that was shared? Let me go here. What's happening? This ain't geoengineered or nothing. Keep telling everybody that. What happened in Libya? Hallelujah. It went geoengineered and God ain't done with Libya. What did it say? Before I go there. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. I love you so much, God. Thank you for your beautiful presence. Thank you for your essence, Lord, uh, on all of us in Jesus' name. What did it say? What did it say in Ezekiel 30? Egypt and her allies will fall. Egypt and her allies will fall. The word of the Lord came to me again, saying, Son of man, prophesy and say, Thus says the Lord God, Well, woe to the day. For the day is near, even the day of the Lord is near. And in there where it says, even the day is nothing but glory in the name of Jesus. Oh! Oh, they get him a shut up of our soul. Oh, oh! Hallelujah! Praise the Lord! Hallelujah! Oh! Up in there it says event, event day. It says, even the day. It, 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 
and you pop them things together, it says event day. Event day. Even the day of the Lord is near. It will be a day of clouds. The time of the Gentiles. The sword shall come upon Egypt and great anguish shall be in Ethiopia. When the slaves fall in Egypt and they take away her wealth and her foundations are broken down, Ethiopia, Libya, Lydia, all the mingled people, Chubb, and the men of the lands who are allied shall fall with them by the sword, says the Lord. You hear what God say about Libya, Northern Africa? You know, from east to west. You hear what God say about Northern Africa? You hear what God say? He the one, excuse me, he the one bringing these judgments. He the one bringing these judgments. Hallelujah. God doing it. What did it say? Thank you, God. You awesome, Lord. They got up and shut it up our soul. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What did it say? In, in, in Psalm 147, verse 15, he sends out his command to the earth. He sends out his command to the earth. Go do. It says, he, it's nothing but glory in the name of Jesus. He sends out his command to the earth. His word runs very swiftly. He gives snow like wool. He scatters the frost like ashes. He cast out his hell like mosses. He cast out his hell like mosses. Like the destruction that came to Austin, Texas. You see what God did? Since late, I said, wait till they get a load of God's missiles. Hell storms and fire storms, all you see is judgment that the earth is under supernatural attack by God. You can see it clearly. Can you see it? I see it every day. Can you see it? I see it. The earth is under suit. You see what happened in Austin, Texas? God said, I'm destroying the idols. And some people cause it they idols. God came with his missiles, blew out everybody's windows, blew out windows, nothing but damage caused. You see what happened in Austin, Texas? Couple days ago, you see what happened? Babylon is falling, America under judgment. We pray. America finna be destroyed by God. It's God sending out the storm. You been warned by many prophets, even the world before me. Like it said, Jeremiah, what it say? I'm gonna go back there, hallelujah. Hallelujah! What did it say? Jeremiah 28 verse 7. Nevertheless, hear now this word. Jeremiah 28 verse 7. Nevertheless, hear now this word that I speak in, the, in your hearing. And in the hearing of all the people. The prophets who have been before me and before you of all prophesied against many countries and great kingdoms of war and disaster and pestilence. Help me hang and throw them blabs ago. It's nothing to see it's in the earth. That's way more brutal than it go me. There ain't no care for what God, if you disobey God, God said he'll send back all the plagues of Egypt. Turn the rivers into blood. Hell storms and fire that turn into fire. And God said, if you don't obey the words of God, he'll send back all the plagues of Egypt. Even plagues you ain't heard about. Watch out for the black plague. The spiders, they, what they say in Central America. And they was leaving the earth shook. The spiders got off the octopods. They got off the ground and climbed in the canopy out of trees. They climbed in the trees and said, that was a 9.0 earthquake. Here come a tsunami. Here it come. And you can't run from an earthquake. 
When you turn around in the earthquake, you find yourself there is nowhere to ground to. We're shaking in California right now. The earth can't take all the same. It can't take it. I love you. It can't take all the double decks reality. Transforming into the Decepticonism. Freaking monster, freaking monsterism. It can't take all the same. If God just sat him even more without warning, God loved this generation enough to warn him. God said he bringing fire storm and hell storms and everything. Prepare for destruction. Prepare to meet your God. Jeremiah 28, verse 8. For prophets who have been before me and before you of old prophesied against many countries and great kingdoms of war and disaster and pestilence. As for the prophet who prophesies of peace, there is no peace for the wicked. God has removed peace from the earth. We the generation of revelation. There is no peace on the earth. Repent. The Messiah coming. Jesus Christ is coming. I'm a voice crying out in the wilderness. They mock, they laugh, they scoff. But the flood is coming! The flood in the form of fire, in the form of water, in the form of mega earthquakes! Repent! Time is running out! The Messiah is coming! The Messiah coming! We're the last generation! Prepare your heart for the Lord. Be right with the Lord. Give your life to Jesus. Only God can save us. Pray to be found worthy to escape. Pray to be found worthy to escape. The storm is coming. It's coming. September 28, 2023. So I'm talking about pray to be worthy, found worthy to escape. You got to pray to be found worthy to escape. You got to pray. God going to make a way. You got to pray though. September 28, 2023. I shared this on the funny big page. John 15, verse 18. The world's hatred. The persecution from within. It is coming from all directions, especially from those closest to us. The persecution is coming. Evil apostles grow worse and worse. Perilous times of perilous men. Perilous times. Perilous times of 2 Timothy 3. Perilous times of perilous men. Make sure this don't blow away. Especially from those closest to us. It is it is scooby dooby doo creepy to find out people who you and I thought love God actually love the world more than God. The creator of the universe. Let this sink in your ears. 
to gain credible substantial nourishment of the bread of life. Hallelujah. Which is the true word of the living God. 2 Timothy 3 verse 12. Yes. 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 This is certainly of it. This is the certainty of it. 2, 2 Timothy 3 verse 12. Yes. And all who desire to live godly in Christ Jesus will suffer persecution. Verse 13. But evil men and apostles will grow worse and worse. Deceiving and being deceived. Like remember what I told you? The fallout for the rapture day setter. You see you that many things. You see you now and all. You see what's happening. From you, I told you it's going to be dramatic and dramatic. Everybody ain't hearing from the law. Everybody ain't. She was leading people astray. And she lead people even more astray. You see what she doing? Man, man, man. Uh, she in the heavenly, man. You know, I remember I told you the blowback was going to be traumatic and dramatic. You thought I was shucking and jiving about that. She, she, she on that. She got the head. She got the head. The opiate. The opiate. Is. The opiate. Is. I was on opiate. And I'll always be. I'll always be. Nah, nah, nah at all. Fall asleep. Nah. It's in order to the coat to wake up. Be balling. I've been there. I understand. I'm, I, I'm one who understand. I slowed it in. I was gone. I, I totally understand. That's why by the grace of God, I love period of your heart. I love being sober. I have to experience things sober. And it's a beautiful thing. And be sober and vigilant because your adversary, the devil, is trying to bury you. You need to be sober and vigilant. You need to be vigilant. Look up these words, vigilant. Because a lot of people are, 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 are what they call them? Uh, hold on. Before I finish, before I finish that. A rep or break. A rep or break. A rep or break. That mean they already predestined for hell. Uh, most of these rep or breaks, they, 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 they predestined for hell already. They predestined for hell fire already. That's scary. Vessels of wrath. They, they, some of these rep or breaks, they are predestined for the flames of, for hell already. What it say? Romans 9, verse 22. What if God wanted to show his wrath and make his power known, endure with much long suffering, the vessels of wrath prepared for destruction? God is preserving them and reserving them in their bodies. There's a storm. That's why what Brazil did with mocking God, they mocked God like the devil was killing Jesus. Even though that's not the real Jesus, then God judging the intent. It say the intent. God know the intents. What it say in Hebrews? And I know it sounds like we all over the place, but we cock it back and pound the devil in his face today. And I feel it supercharged. You got to refresh. You got to revitalize. That's why I understand why these people be dropping video after video. But I understand because they get four dollars every now and then. You hear what I say? But they're not preaching the good news. They, 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 they God is they belly. You hear what I said? Four dollars, man, I ain't worried about that. I used to sell dope for a living. Sell weed, pound of weed for a living. For a living. It was a living. I ain't, man. That's what, man, money is the root of all kind of evil, beloved. For real. 
You hear what I said? For real, for real. That's why I'm just glad with the Lord. I'm just glad what the Lord do for me, done for me, through just a couple people. That's it. It's, it's good. I'm straight by the grace of God because I, 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 I'm seeking heaven. And we seeking the things up above the heavenly things. And, and speaking of that, I told you, you, you nah, no. You hear what I said? Like, you know, you hear what I said? Totally, totally not right. Totally, totally eating with this. Totally. You hear what I said? And it was many followers, and I told them off top, you got ready to leave her alone. I told you the blowback was, I gave a prophecy about it. It's going to be traumatic and traumatic. And it's, it's, it's sad. It's really sad. I'm not rejoicing over I'm not happy she falling like that or nothing. You hear what I say? It's really sad to me. You hear what I say? It's really terribly sad. It's, it's sad. But it's not shocking though. Because God maybe, God had me say it. God had me prophesy what I, actually I said. He let me in straight adultery. Living it, man, and everything. Just that's what the devil do. It say when the evil spirit go out of a person, the evil spirits go get seven other spirits more wicked, and they have you doing things like that, coming on video, have that showing, showing your body, everything, all that. That's the devil. That is demonic. That's evil. That's evil. It's almost like more like Bornea. It's almost a little bit like Bornea. You hear what I said? More I could be. You hear what I said? We're gonna shake the geography. But it's almost like you hear the rhyme scheme? <laughs> Hallelujah. I ain't a part of the dream team. And we shook Spain earlier today. You hear what I said? Don't forget about the Spain earthquake. God been bringing these hailstorms and fires. And you hear what I said? Pray to be that God been bringing these hailstorms and fires and storms and fires. God flooded out Greece, flooded out Spain, hell been falling. Did you see all the damage caused in houses, in homes, in Austin, Texas? They happened a couple days ago. Hell storms, all, God destroying all the idols. And some idols is caused, like I was saying. Caused, people's vehicles. They let their vehicles more to God. God, God flooded, leaving people pushing their cars. You know what I mean? How much car damage has happened in New York City? You know how much car damages it never it did it they did not have a summer you remember when it was red in new york city and then they put the devil they put the devil on on the megatron tv you see how wicked it is they know the earth is under judgment the devil his main objective right now hallelujah let me get man let me get to that oh my god i know it sounds we all over the place and i gotta i gotta skip that message for a second and i'll go back to it hallelujah September 27th. Matter of fact, I had a, I had a, I had a dream. I sh a dream I shared on the on the funny big page because it been heightened super supernatural spiritual war ever since I've been doing a lot lot of little like worshiping on, on, on my keyboard for the Lord and all type. It been spiritual. The atmosphere to change when you play music for the Lord, you actually bring down heavy. It don't matter how you sing. I just told you. You hear what I said? As long as you do it from 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 a heart. Not not ill intentions. That's what I was talking about too. God judging man, hold on. God judging the intention of people's hearts, beloved. It's either God or the devil. There ain't no more in between. It's either God or the devil. Who who you go who you go who you gonna serve today? God or the devil. That's it. Why your garments red like you tread the wine press? In Isaiah 63, why are your garments red like you tread the wine place? Because blood is coming. And rivers of it. A multitude of it. And all these fires and all these all these storms and all the hell storms. We watching for the earthquakes. The earthquake, we just got hit by an earthquake in California earlier today. But I'm talking about magnitude sevens, eights, and nines. Four minute earthquake. Four minute earthquake in the middle of LA, four minute earthquake, seven minute earthquake in Seattle. All right, seven minute earthquake is shaking. Earthquakes last for seconds. The 9.0 in Japan, it lasted for 10 minutes. The earthquake that struck East Asia, 2004, it lasted for 10 minutes. They couldn't stand up. The ground, that's the wrath of God. That's what it looked like. When the cops
continents break. The continent lifted up out the ocean 90 feet. The sea floor. The sea floor lifted up. This earth cannot take all this sin that Jesus is coming. The earth is under judgment. It's under the wrath of God for treason against heaven. We're going to be all crying. We're going to have something coming. we all going to know somebody who passed away in these judgments. We're going to be all crying. Don't die and see it. You're going to be naked in hell fire. There ain't no charts, no weeds, no leaves. Everybody was naked. There ain't no clothes in hell. Everybody was naked in hell. It all fire merged together with no eyeballs. You know, you, you all, everything, all your soft tissue, there is devoid of snack. Your snack, the molecules in your snack is devoid of any liquid. Dip your head in that water to cool my tongue. Well, what it say, Luke 16, verse 19, what it say? Dip your head in Abraham. Dip, dip your head in that water to cool my tongue. With no tongue. You dig what I'm saying? <laughs> what it say? Hebrews 4, verse 11. The word, the word discovers our condition. <laughs> let us therefore be diligent to enter that rest. You know, it's always cracking out here. We let these sirens go by real quick. Hebrews 4, verse 11. The word discovers our condition. Let, let, let us therefore be diligent to enter that rest. Let us be diligent together. Let us reason together. Let us therefore be diligent to enter that rest. Lest anyone fall according to the same example of disobedience. For the word of God is living and powerful. For the word of God is living and powerful. In Jesus' name. And sharper than any two-edged sword. Piercing even the division of soul and spirit. And of joints and marrow. And is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. And there is no creature hidden from his sight. But all things are naked. But all things are naked. But all things are naked. And open to the eyes of him to whom we must give an account. We're going to be held accountable for everything we do and say. Everything. You mock one of God's servants, God going to punish you. You mock, you mock at the service of God, then don't be crying with God punish you. Because you're not God. You are, crea you are created by a creator. You are a creation. Understand that. There ain't no big bang theory. God said let there be light. We are not, we are not homo sapiens. We are not monkeys. You hear what I say? We all came from Adam and Eve in the name of Jesus. Dig what I'm talking about? That's what I'm talking about. The truth. I'm in the boat. All I need is one mic. I give you what you like. It don't stop. We pray for everybody to go hear this on YouTube. In the name of Jesus, soldier of God, straight like that by myself. All day, every day. Soldier. Ain't no fear in me. Move faster. You hear what I say? Team Lion the Jew to move faster. September 27, 2023. Joel 14, verse 2. Fades away. Like the shadow of death. The enemy knows his time is up. I heard the kingdom of darkness finally come to the realization that they don't win this war at all. They miscollect 
They miscalculated. They miscalculated and have been misdirected by interpretation of scripture. Haggai 2 verse 9. The glory of this latter temple shall be greater than the former, says the Lord of hosts. The enemy was not expecting that. God's word is true. Romans 5 verse 5. But we're seeing about grace abound much more. So many who are lost have suddenly been found. And many more will be found in the judgments. The California earthquakes, the Chicago mega quake, the sudden strike near Cuba, all through the Bermuda. You hear the rhyme scheme? And you hear what I said? Don't let it go over your head. You dig what I'm talking about? I'm a collar popper for the law. From Macramino, California, sent from heaven. But I, I, but, I, but I reside in Macramino, California, collar popper for the law. Straight like that. Saying the sober. I ain't know nothing. Uh, hallelujah. I'm saying the sober. You dig what I'm saying? I ain't know nothing. I don't get high. Dang. I used to get high. But I'm sober. And been sober for years. I know exactly what I'm doing. Destroying the works of the devil. That's my job. I'm an enemy of hell. I make my choice. The people's champ. <laughs> you hear what I say? The sudden strike near Cuba all through the Bermuda. Down into Brazil. Whatever is commanded first to accelerate the process to win more souls for the kingdom of heaven. I'm all the way with that. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Isaiah 28 verse 21. For the Lord will rise up as that Mount Perizim. He will be angry. As in the valley of Gibeah. That he may do his work. And bring to pass his unusual act. I saw the kingdom of darkness realize certain things. So they all said get people to compromise. Break up the unity. Divide the church of God as much as you can. That's the devil's play. When I say we're going to destroy the devil's play, the devil's play is to get division. Mark, mark this. Mark, mark this. Get division. That ain't man. And E. 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 Plus. Transformer is a plus. Decepticon is a plus. <laughs> We're dealing with Decepticons. You are living in the matrix. Come out of Babylon, my people. They try to get rid of you. You are the computer glitch. You understand that? You are the virus. They want to get rid of you. That's why they're coming out with AI and robots. They want to get rid of you. We have no use for you means no more. That's what they thinking about. That's that's what they own. That's what Bill Gates know. You hear what I say? We different. Stand for something to fall for everything. Ain't no time to be no coward. And cowards don't make heaven. Revelation 21 verse 8. The cowardly, the unbelieving, all sexually more, all lies, the sorcerers, they ain't gonna make it to heaven if they don't repent. Revelation, they, they gonna get their part in the lake of fire and say, that's a promise. Break up the unity. Divide the church of God as much as you can. Fast. I saw multiple people on YouTube. Faces turned to demons. Like they was demons all along. They, ent they entered in like the Antichrist will. Daniel 11 verse 21. Patiently. Coming in very subtle. As the most sweetest individual. Coming in very subtle as the most sweetest in the veteran. The most poisonous snakes are the most beautiful. The most beautiful is the most beautiful things in this world. It's surrounded by the hell fire. You understand that? The devil ain't gonna come with horse. Here, here, here you go, here you go, box of chocolates. Here you go, like, like a box of chocolates. Here you go, box of chocolates. You dealing, you talk about the devil who deceived angels out of heaven. And so it's nothing to deceive a person in the going to heaven. You understand what I'm 
talking about? You need to be with the Lord. Give it like the Jesus. Today your day of salvation. Coming at very settled as the most sweetest individuals. He is very cl clever. Cloak. It is a very clever cloak of deception. The enemy saw the glory that surrounded the vessels of mercy who were at once walking in darkness. Who God is having mercy on them to turn them to light. I saw the enemy is trying to get people to fall away right now at the very end. So the glory of God departs from a person. The enemy is trying to get the glory of God to depart from you. You know how dangerous it is of God's spirit depart from you? Where you can't hear God? That is terrifying, beloved. You ain't scared to go to hell. I'm terrified of it. It's forever. A day in hell is a billion years. Time stops. It's forever. God loves you. In Jesus' name. Hey, like, is that the crazy man on the corner? I did not know he preached like that. And I'll just be sitting chilling with the Lord in the presence of God all day, every day. Fighting. Fighting all day. Fighting against hell all day, every day. And collar pop on the hater. At the same time, stomp on the devil, collar pop on the hater. Dig what I'm saying? We different. So the glory of the Lord, and that's what God, that's what God was showing me too. The glory of the Lord is departing from multiple nations. The glory of the Lord is departing from the nations, beloved. You see New York City being flooded. Who rare parts is in the sea in Nahal 3? It say who rare parts is in the sea? Who rare parts is in the sea? You see God flooded. They got a tsunami coming. They got an earthquake coming. New York. Ain't nobody expecting these judgments, beloved. There should be great earthquakes in various places. In strange places. We got to be ready. Be right, with, be right with the Lord. You can go to Jesus' prophet. But Jesus taught us how to pray. Pray to God in Jesus' name. Our Father who is in heaven, hallowed be your name. Jesus even prayed to God the Father in Jesus' name. Pray to God the Father in Jesus' name. You can do it alone by yourself in your room wherever. I felt God on the block. The vessels of mercy who were at once walking in the darkness, who God is having mercy on to turn them to light. I saw the enemy is trying to get people to fall away right now at the very end. So the glory of God departs from a person. Be careful, beloved people. We will give a sign this message is certified from on high in Jesus' name. Watch for a mega earthquake. Time is over. Jesus Christ is coming. So is the wrath of God. The earth is going to be shaken by a mighty, violent, mega earthquake that has never happened before. The end has come. The rivers are and will turn to blood. The great white throne judgment. The earth and the heaven fled away. Revelation 20 verse 13. The sea gave up the dead who were in it. And death and hate. And death and hate delivered up the dead who were in them. And they were judged. Each one according to his works. Verse 14. Then death and hate were cast into the lake of fire. This is the second death to the wicked evildoers. Who told you to flee from the wrath to come? 
everything is going to be judged. Bye bye. And I'm going to show you the gift. It definitely, it definitely heads was fleeing in a boat on lava while the earth is shaking. I'll probably have to share it on the on the community page so you can really see. But it's on the funny book page though. They flee away. Let me go back to the other message too, real quick. To pray to be found worthy to escape everything that's coming. Because America fate is sealed. It's about to get real. I was talking about the world's hatred. September 28th. I'm going to start with uh, right here. 2 Timothy 3 verse 12. Yes. And all who desire to live godly in Christ Jesus will suffer persecution. Verse 13. But evil men and apostles will grow worse and worse, deceiving and being deceived. I see from a personal perspective and aspect. You can listen to what I said. Don't let it go over your head. I see with a personal perspective and aspect. I ain't just saying what I'm saying. It's real for all of us. The closer you draw to God of praise and worship, the closer you draw to God of praise and worship, reading the word of God and prayer, it seems like those around us say, thing, say things with absolute hatred and malice towards us. Who know that Jesus Christ is really coming. The word, the world hears its own, no matter who it is. Time is too short. First John 2 verse 15. Do not love the world or the things in the world. If anyone loves the world, the love of the Father is not in him. Verse 16, for all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh and the lust of the eyes and the pride of life is not of the, of the Father, but is of the world. And the world is passing away and the lust of it. But he who does the will of God abides forever. We tasted, that the, we tasted what the world had to offer. We've experienced the gift of the Holy Spirit. There is no comparison between the two. 2 Corinthians 9 verse 15 Thanks be to God for his indescribable gift The world is gray The world is gray Dark and dull Oh my God The spectrum of the undefiled coloration of heaven Is alive and seen and felt In its uncorrupted beauty Oh <laughs> Oh my God, hallelujah. The Lord sent me out the glory. Living in a world full of poverty and pain, who's to blame? The shame of our sins finds us out. Repentance and the grace of God leads to salvation and we need it more than ever. It is way too many great earthquakes and tsunamis coming, war, pestilence, and demons from hell unleashed through the portals through the portals from the bottomless pit. Job 11 verse 7. Can you search out the deep things of God? Can you find out the limits of the Almighty? Verse 8. They are higher than heaven. What can you do? Deeper than shield? What can you know? Don't let demon possessed people try to provoke you into anger and a call like many of us have took the bait. Many of us holding myself be careful and always remember in the mighty name of Jesus Christ vengeance is of the Lord it will be like the night of Sodom and Gomorrah and Lot the night of the flood and the fire when angels will suddenly appear and do as what was done there is nothing new under the sun Genesis 19 verse 17 escape for your life do not look behind you, nor stay anywhere in the plain. Escape to the mountains, lest you be destroyed. Pray to be found worthy to escape. And I'll show you the gift.
Ha <laughs> You see it, you see a villa through there? Uh, <laughs> Y'all can, can you see it? Can you see it? Y'all see it? Did it stop? Y'all see a vela through there? The other one was about to bail out to escape for your life. Comedy right there. I ain't finna stay here long. You see what God doing? And war is coming. And, and, and people need to stay away from this divin divining with all these dates and all this stuff. Just stop it, cause it's, it's divination. That's what it's becoming. It's becoming divination. It's becoming idolatry. It's becoming all of that. God said rebuke that. It, that's what it's becoming, beloved. It's becoming divination. It's become a divination. It's, it's dead. We got to be careful with these dates and putting out date after date. Just just go the day of the Lord. You hear what I said? Because certain times to see, warn, no. Warn. It's okay to warn. You see what Brad is doing. You see what Brad is doing. They, they, they telling they people to be ready too on October 3rd. We just got to be careful on certain dates. It's, it's okay to warn, but it's a way to warn and it's a way not to warn, beloved. We got to do this thing right. You hear what I say? We can't be divine, guessing, guesstimating. I don't just be guessing. I'm not. I'm not finna do all that. I'm. I'm here to warn. Places is getting struck. You see what happened in New York? It's straight sunk underwater. And then where the rats go? You know they got all. We're all the rats. We're all the rats. Where the rats at? God said He'll send back all the plagues if you don't obey. All the plagues, extraordinary diseases of the plagues. Deuteronomy 28. Verse 59 on down, beloved. Read what it say. God will send back plagues, prolonged sicknesses, prolonged disease, diseases that are not even in, written in the Bible. That's what it say. I'll read it real quick before I tear up out of here. I ain't going to be lazy about it. I'm going to do what I got to do. Make sure I want. Don't take I magazine. You hear what I say? I'm going to do what I got to do for the kingdom of heaven. Look, this Bible glowing is glowing. If you ain't knowing, what does it say? Deuteronomy 28, verse 58. If you do not carefully observe all the words of this law that are written in this book, that you may fear this glorious and awesome name, the Lord your God, then the Lord will bring upon you and your descendants extraordinary pl pl plagues, great and prolonged plagues, and serious and prolonged sickness. Those, those who died from the from the from the from the from the family, they actually pine away in sickness. It's like, man, I'm gonna get back. This hour don't be long enough for me to do, but I gotta do it because that's the only way people gonna really watch. So I just gotta do it the way it got to be done. You did what I'm talking about? Prolonged plagues, and serious prolonged sicknesses. Moreover, he will bring back on you all the diseases of Egypt of which you were afraid. And they shall cling to you. Also every sickness. And every plague. Which is not. Written in this book. Of the law. Will the Lord bring upon you. Until you are destroyed. Even plagues. That are not written in the book. That's what I seen people throwing up. It's nothing but glory here. And they throwing up blood. Help me Eric. Help me throwing up blood and worms. Help me Eric. I'm praying. I'm trying to pray over many people. Two things gonna happen in, in when this other plane hit. Two things I seen that I gotta share. Two things I see: either people gonna barricade themselves all the way in their homes and not come out, or they gonna abandon whole subdivisions. And I see armies sweeping through, sweeping through, sweeping through. You hear what I say? They, they sweep it, sweep it through. In the cities, in hazmat suits, in the green army hazmat suits, in America. Sweeping areas. People was either, and they sprayed, they sprayed like this little sign to show if somebody was in there just quarantined in their own house, they would spray on their house. Man, 
This is something I just recently seen in a dream, beloved. When I seen it in 2020 where I seen army soldiers sweeping the area, but God gave me more insight. Because God will show you the same thing over and over. Show just like with the Brazil earthquake, how the buildings, how the building gonna topple over. They'll run by at Edificio. That's actually a name of a building somewhere. They'll run by Edificio. That's a name of a building. Not just the building collapsing. Edificio and Kale. It's coming. I been saying this. I been talking about Brazil how it's gonna get hit. You seeing the judgment of God is nothing but fires, flames, water, hidden places, beloved. It's nothing but fire, flames. We are living in the last days. This may be the last message. It may not, beloved. But go, hallelujah. We living in the final seconds. Repent, beloved. Go, go doing all this. This is judgment. Neighbor roots still coming. Things coming from behind the sun. Everything is coming. Expect everything. Pray to be found worthy to escape, beloved. Expect everything. What did it say? Psalm, Psalm 148. Verse 7. Praise the Lord from the earth. You great sea creatures in all the depths. Fire in hell. Snow and clouds, stormy wind, fulfilling this word. You ain't see the tornado that hit China the other day. All type of strange weather anomalies is happening all over the world. All over the world. What did Jesus say? He said, hallelujah, you seen what just happened in New York? The whole city. You just see the whole city, beloved. What did Jesus say? It'll be just like in the days of Noah and Lot. That means it's going to be fires, storms, earthquakes. And this, these are the last days, beloved. The, the flood is coming. 